In today's video, I'm going to be giving you another complimentary play to the wide zone running scheme in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, today what we've been talking a little bit about, and really for the last couple of days, we've been talking about this running concept that I really like, and that's the wide zone. So if you've never seen the wide zone before, I'll just show you what it is. But basically what it is is it's a run that it, it kind of seems like stretch, but the blocking is slightly different than stretch. In fact, vastly different than stretch. And even though it looks like stretch, it's actually very, very different in the way that it functions. And in my opinion, it's a thousand times more effective than stretch, especially in Madden 21. Now, this is a, a running play that Terrell Davis made famous when he was at the Denver Broncos. I'm sure there's other players that ran it, but he's the one that I've studied the most with this. And Kyle Shanahan has kind of brought it back to life in the NFL with the uh, with the San Francisco 49ers. Now, this running play can be found in the, uh, the Los Angeles Rams playbook. Now, if you've never met me before, before, I do want to introduce myself. My name is Cody. And basically what I do here at YouTube is I post four videos every single day that are designed to give you some type of tactical tip, concept, strategy, uh, basically just food to chew on, something to think about as you uh, play the game. And so if you're interested in getting those, those free tips and those strategies, I'd encourage you to click that subscribe button so that you can know whenever we post a new video, which is every single day. And oftentimes we post multiple videos per day. Now, before I go any further, I do want to let you know that we have started up a PlayStation 4 online franchise. And if you would like to join the online franchise, our fantasy draft for that is tomorrow night. So if you want to join that, all you have to do is just text me. I can give you more information. My number is at the top left corner of the screen. It's also in the description. And I'll just give it to you real quick. It's 812-216-3644. All right, so let's jump into this. So you see the wide zone, and you just see how effective it is, right? Wide zone is a yard gainer. It's a play that's going to consistently earn you yardage. And in fact, it's one of the, it's one of the most difficult plays that I have used in Madden 21 from a shooting gaps perspective, meaning it's darn near impossible for your opponent to correctly shoot the gap on this run because of what the center does with his block, the way that he kind of prote protects the interior of the gap shoot. Now... What I want to do right now, and what that means is, for your for your opponent to be able to stop this run effectively, he's going to basically have to blitz his safeties or run cover four or do some things like that. And so I wanted to show you a couple of uh, a couple of running plays, and it's basically just the zone uh, running series. So that are these two motions: motion halfback zone, motion halfback zone weak, and then we're also going to cover inside zone week all right so we're just going to come out in the wide zone but we'll show you how these differ okay so first and foremost wide zone right you're you're basically you're you're going to basically either run it out, all the way outside to the right or you're going to cut it upfield put that foot in the ground so you can take three steps cut it up field or you're going to take three steps and continue it out and around and basically that's dependent on what your uh, or what that that uh, defensive end or outside linebacker is doing whether he's able to hold outside contain or not if he's not able to hold out so like right here he gets that double team that's an example of something that i would then shoot it to the outside so with inside zone it's a little bit different right you're running inside and you're basically what's going to happen is those safeties are going to shoot to the outside and what your decision point is, is do I keep running left or do I cut it right up the middle of the field in the hole as that linebacker is going to be shooting through? So with inside zone weak, you can flip it. You can run it to the right, to the left. It doesn't really matter. And as you can see here, then the one thing you have to be mindful of with the zone is as a general rule, they are going to be able to shoot this run. This run's not shoot proof, right? Uh, wide zone is shoot proof. 26 duo is almost shoot proof. Inside zone is not necessarily shoot proof. Um, and even the motion halfback zone, I actually really like the motion running plays. Um, if you want to really, you know, kind of leverage these, these are actually get, they get very, very, very good blocking in my opinion this year, uh, better than they ever have. But basically, you can run either of these motion runs. You're going to go ahead and just basically put this uh, wide receiver in this auto motion. And it's essentially the same concept. It's just bringing the wide receiver over. But because it's an auto motion running play, 
in my opinion, it gets just a little bit better um, initial blocking to kind of keep them from shooting the gap. By bringing that wide receiver in to compression like that, it's going to help a little bit with the gap shooting. And so that's why you'll see like when I'm running wide zone, oftentimes I'll motion the wide receiver just to kind of keep a consistent look. And then you can snap it kind of right in this point right here. And yes, you know, obviously they're going to be able to tell that you're not running that, but they're not going to necessarily be able to tell it right in the moment. Okay. So that's why I like to do that. But these little inside zones, these little motion zones, they're going to do a good job of those spread defenses, like those uh, nickel 335 wide. Um, if you're facing nickel 335 wide, which is probably the best defense to be able to handle some of what motion wide zone or some of what wide zone can accomplish for you because of the wide um, stances that the linebackers are on, this inside zone is going to be very, very beneficial for you. Because what inside zone is going to do, or these inside zone weeks or whatever, these little zone run plays from the I-form set, they're going to do a good job of basically splitting. They're going to pin down the defensive tackle, and then they're going to basically push out the linebackers, creating a nice little alleyway for you to be able to run the ball in between the tackles. In between the tackle and the guard on both sides, you're going to be able to do that effectively. As you see here, you don't really want to be running outside the tackle unless they force you to. But like right in here, you see how I can get up and I can go. And these, you know, overall, like these runs are probably like the third out of the three top runs from this formation i really like 26 duo i really like wide wide zone is incredible but they're still very very good and very very effective and they serve their purpose if they're shooting everything to the outside run an inside zone play cut it back against the grain and look at all that room you have in the middle of the field the the inside zone what it's going to do is it's going to basically negate some of these Deep, big defensive tackles from being able to really do anything against you and you're going to be able to essentially flow right up the middle of the defense uh, with this now if they're shooting with if, if you're facing a heavy three four set where they're bringing safeties down and they're blitzing everybody at you you know i would not recommend doing that but against something like even like this right here from four three this is not something that wide zone would do great against it's something that inside zone would do amazing against because you've basically already established the that they're taking away the outside so when they start to try to basically over pursue and take away the outside then you're just going to use these inside zone runs to be able to complement that so that's just what i'm getting at and i wanted to share that with you today and kind of give you a complete running scheme even though it's from iform pro it's actually really, really effective because I, I cannot stress to you enough how effective of a base run wide zone is when you can read it properly and you can execute it and you stay patient, you will open everything else up because they have they literally if they don't if they don't force this thing, this thing will literally not be stopped. Like you this thing will run and run and run and run. And we'll be showing this tonight on our live stream we'll actually be giving some live gameplay with this um against some of our members and show you kind of what it does to to people's defenses some of the best defenses in the in the community right now are going to face this running play tonight and you're going to see that they're going to struggle to stop it because it's that powerful um especially when you understand how to read it it makes it so much easier for you to execute it it makes it so much easier uh, when you understand the cuts when you understand like for example right here this is three four odd the linebackers are in the middle of the field so i'm going to try to run wide zone and you see here we're able to get outside and we're able to get a good six to seven eight yards against this next defensive set what you're going to see is okay he's going three four again i'm going to flip it and run it to the left side and you see here we're going to get that seal here seal there he actually ends up making the tackle but we're still able to get positive yardage still able to get a couple yards Again, the 3-4 set. Now we're going to try to go inside zone. And what you're going to see is inside zone is not as, as, not as wide open as wide zone from those, those compression defenses. When they're compressing everything in the middle of the field, it's not going to be. But then you can face something like this, which is like a nickel. I think this is nickel 2-4-5. Um, and nickel 245 is going to struggle uh, because of the, the spreadness of the, of the defensive line. They're not going to be as great against this. So like if you're facing nickel double A gap, to me, you're running wide zone every day of the week, you know. But if you're facing, um, if you're facing nickel three three five wide or nickel three three five odd or any of those sets, to me, I would I would hit them with inside zone or duo, one of those counter plays. Once they start over pursuing to, to kind of contain that edge run for you, 
that's when you want to, like this would be a great example of something inside zone. You get that nice double team right there. The linebacker pretty much has to fight through somebody, and you're able to get an automatic three to five yards. That's what you're looking for in running game. How can you be mad at that? You see here, again, they're spreading everybody out. There's no button, no backers, nothing in the middle of the field. Where we get that double team on him, and we're able to get it up for five yards before we get hit stick fumbled, right? And you're not going to get hit stick fumbled a lot in Madden because you're not seeing that a lot this year. Most most defenses aren't really building around the fumble like they have in years past. That's why I'm running the ball this year. I think is you know kind of consistently be the shift you're going to see people more and more shift to that but this run i'm telling you not very many people in the community run this run and i don't know that necessarily very many people in the community understand what this run actually can do because it is programmed differently than the stretch run and when you combine that with a really really good inside zone week run um, it really does benefit your entire running repertoire because you're able to hit them outside. You're able to hit them inside. Something like this where you got those double A gap. You see how that tackle just eats on that left side? Like there's no shed opportunity whatsoever. The tackle wheels him out of the play, and you're able to get over and rock and roll. So, you know, guys, this is just one of those running schemes that I think you're going to look back on um, and see what I hope Madden does is I hope they add this running play to the San Francisco 49ers live playbook um, in the middle of the year, maybe to some of the formations that San Francisco runs them out of, like I form twins, I form close. Um, sometimes they run them out of single back uh, trips as well. But wide zone is here to stay. Uh, I think this is, I mean, you're just going to see this continue to pop up. And so I'm glad I got the opportunity to sit down with you for a little bit today and talk about the importance of understanding not only wide zone, but understanding running plays that counter wide zone that really can complete your offense with this. And there's also some play action plays and things like that that we'll get into uh, with this Rams mini scheme for you. And there's some other things that you can do with the audibling system within Madden where you can kind of quote unquote Maddenize it basically making a real life scheme much much more relevant in Madden 21 because of some little tricks and strategies uh, that you can do so anyway just excited to share that with you if you haven't joined the franchise and you want to go ahead and shoot me a text we'll get you in there if you want and then um, the only other thing I have for you is to join the discord it's in the description of this video thanks for watching guys and we will see you guys on stream at 10 o'clock